thank God summer is over. I am so done with summer. I love summer every year, but every year summer just decimates our budget. And this month, August, was no exception. So we're going to go over the budget line by line, item by item, so you can see where we were over. But in case you didn't already know, we hit an awesome milestone this month too. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are currently in smack in the middle of paying off pretty much $350,000 worth of debt. There's a lot going on around here today. There's banging, there's kids, there's cicadas. It's going to be a loud video. As you all know, Mauricio and I paid off our largest debt this month, and I will get into that at the end of the video so you can see exactly what those numbers were. And the good news is I have finally figured out how to link my debts to every dollar. So it's auto importing all my numbers, which is awesome. So yeah, that is there's been good money things going on this month for sure. First things first, yes, this month we were $351.97 over budget. We were actually thousands of dollars over budget, but you know, moving money from next month to this month to pay off the debt, it's a whole math thing. So technically we were we were only over $351.97, which is not too bad because there have been many, many, many months that we've been like well over budget. But there are a few legitimate reasons for this, so let's go over them. In our utilities category, we spent $215 for our cell phones and $270 for our storage unit. And as always, if you don't know why we have a storage unit, we are living with my parents and everything we own is in a storage unit. And I have no desire to sell any of it. I love, love, love my stuff. And I actually did a whole video on it, which I'll link up here in the eye in the sky. And you are welcome to watch it. And hopefully it'll explain it pretty well. In our transportation category, we spent $105 for gas and $7.94 for a brake light replacement. You will notice that in our gas category, it still says we have $35 remaining. So every dollar was kind of glitchy this last 24 hours and so I couldn't do the final update of my budget before I did this. Take all of my numbers with a grain of salt. The planned column is accurate. The remaining is are the transactions I'm waiting to come through my bank. So this next category is one of the two reasons that we were so over budget this month and this category is kind of crazy. In the Molina category we spent $101.84 for a school supplies from Molina's PTO. I am a huge fan of supporting the PTO by buying their school supply box because, well, I don't have to shop for it. And it actually is surprisingly cost effective. I priced it out last year and did a comparison of the PTO and the cost difference is minimal, like less than $5. So my time, definitely worth $5. <laughs> In school clothes, we bought Melina $108.98 worth of new clothes from Justice. That was supposed to be her first day of school outfit. Melina wanted, desperately wanted this one particular thing from Justice, you know, like flippy sequins, t-shirt, whatever, and skater skirt. So I told her she could get it, and I'll be really honest, I hate Justice. I think their clothes are cheap. I am not a fan. I wish Melina would not even look at their clothes. I try and teach her about clothing quality, but of course she's only six, so what's she really gonna know? It came in the mail, and it was so cheap. The quality was just atrocious. And so I told Melina I wasn't going to let her wear that on the first day of school. I told her she could wear, I, we would keep the outfit, which is all she really cared about. At, but we were going to pick her something else out for the first day of school. So I will not be making that mistake again. So the next thing we bought were name stickers off Etsy. And they just say, please return to Melina Valencia. Oh, kind of windy out and like 
My notes are blowing everywhere. I bought these last year and we use them on everything and they are super cute. I just adore them. So I bought a ton more so I won't have to buy them every year. Um, and we'll be putting them on her new backpack, her lunchbox, and they stick so well. And I'll put a link down in the description box. I am not at all affiliated. I just really like this woman's stuff. Hello, Billy O. Come here. Hello. Say hello, Billy O. Hello, Juke boy. So the outfit we ended up getting Melina for the first day of school is from Jeannie and Jack, and it was off their sale rack. And we actually got her three outfits because sometimes she wears an eight and sometimes she wears a 10. She has grown so much in the last year. So I got her three outfits. We will not keep all three. I will let her pick. And based on the one that, that fits the best, that's what she will wear on the first day of school. And I got her some shoes that matched two of the outfits and then we have some white converse to match the dress. So that was $207.72. And then we spent $28 for lunch at one of the camps she went to. Everybody at the camp ordered lunch and Melina wanted to be like everybody else, I guess. And, and I'm okay with that. So we paid $28 for lunch every day. And then we spent $31.26 on Etsy for several hair bows to match the various outfits. Um, Melina has gotten big into wearing like the big Jojo hair bow in a side pony like Jojo Siwa does. So we, I got her several of those bows made on Etsy and they're all really cute and she loves them all. And then we paid $31 for sweats for her swim team. And then Melina is going to be having her birthday party. I bet you can guess where. Yep, the American Girl doll store. She's inviting her friends and she's going to have her American Girl doll birthday so at the American Girl doll store, it's kind of competitive to, to actually make a birthday party reservation because they do only have one room. And so I went ahead and normally I would book it in September, but because I knew it was going to be hard to get the, the slots that we wanted, we went ahead and booked it early. And so it's just going to be for the girls and uh, it's all her friends that that I'm friends with their moms. So the moms will go out for lunch and we will go to the American Girl doll store and Mauricio and I will stay with the daughters. Unless Mauricio bails on me, then my mom will go with me. We don't know what's going to happen. I know he's super looking forward to having, you know, 10 little girls at an American Girl doll party. <laughs> And then one of the major reasons that we were over budget this month was we decided for one of Melina's birthday gifts, she has been begging us to redo her room. I mean, honestly, it's my mother and father's guest room. So it's, we, we have a bedspread that she did not pick out. And my parents were totally okay with us redoing that bedroom. So we're not going to buy any furniture or anything like that. But what we are going to do is we're going to paint and buy some bedding and a rug and move everything around so it'll be more Melina's room. By doing this, our plan is to finish it up the weekend for her birthday and she'll sleep in the other guest room while we're doing it. And then on her birthday, we will give her her brand new big girl room. And that is $305 that we got. And I had it made on Etsy because in case you don't know anything about me, I am a huge fan of being the only person in the world that has certain things. So I don't like to go to Pottery Barn Kids and get the same bedspread that everybody else has. I want something custom made. So I had this woman custom make a uh, duvet cover and shams for Melina. So I'll show you guys when it's all done. I plan on doing a video of what we got for my daughter for her birthday. So I will show that to you when it's all finished. And then we spent $32 on a dream catcher, which will be hung over her bed and it's custom made to match the bedding that she's picked. She has been asking me for a dream catcher to help her get rid of her nightmares for quite a while. So we thought this would be a good time to do it. So in the Molina category, we spent $965.32 this month. But that's not the only reason we're over. This month, there was a whole bunch of moving money around. In our insurance and tax category, we spent $177.16 for USAA insurance, $12 for CMFG insurance, USAA life insurance is $91.65, 
and Mauricio's life insurance is thirty five eighty three. And as you know, our USAA account does not cross every dollar, so it is not in there, and that's why those amounts for planned are zero. I track them. However, this is the last month that you will be seeing that, and I will explain that in a future video because now I'm going to be transferring everything to USAA manually. In our cash category, we spent $360 at the grocery store. We put $200 for blow money, $20 for the dry cleaner, $25 for Mauricio's haircut, $40 for Sally Beauty Supply, $100 for family outings, and $360 for Molina's swim lessons. In reoccurring and annual expenses, we spent $35.96 for iTunes, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. In my YouTube category, we spent $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. And the category that pushed us over the top this time, medical. So Lena's medical testing is finished and we are awaiting the results of that. That was $3,400. The last $18 35 still hasn't crossed our budget, so um, I'm not 100% sure it's going to clear this month before the end of the month. We'll see. So when I'm recording this, we still have two days in the budget, so um, it may clear. We have written the check for it. I just don't know if it's going to clear before the end of the month. If not, you'll see it again next month. I had an echocardiogram, which was $255.96. I have an enlarged aorta, and so I have to get an annual echo, unfortunately. So, but, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Mauricio had to go to the neurologist for $35. Melina had swimmer's ear for $63.38. I finally got so fed up with my glasses that I went to the eye doctor, and that cost me $90. But the good news is, you will notice, I have no glasses. See, no glasses. And the reason for that is because come to find out, the eye doctor thinks I may have had some sort of allergy or intolerance to the contact lenses, the bifocal contact lenses, the actual, like, whatever they're made of. And that's why I couldn't wear them. And so she gave me a totally different brand, and they're not bifocal, so I do have to wear readers, and I got these readers which you'll see in a minute um i got two pairs i have one pair for here and one pair for work see you want to see i look like an old lady now but they're cute because it has a little little paw print so i have been wearing contacts for a few days now and had no issues whatsoever my eyes feel great so it clearly was the actual contacts not not wearing contacts that was the problem and then we paid $89.91 for some medication for Mauricio from the neurologist. And then we paid $31.27 for some medication for Melina's stomach. And then Mauricio went to the dentist for $27.60. I actually went to the dentist too. And mine was free and Mauricio's cost money. I don't know. I'm thinking he might have gotten the fluoride. I forwent the fluoride. I try and only do that once a year. Then we spent $44.64 on more medication for Mauricio. I spent $59.71 on the readers. And then I spent $32.17 on allergy medication for Melina. Lots of medicine this month. Our medical expenses this month were $4,129.64. And in work expenses, we spent $11 on parking, which is not bad at all. All, especially considering Mauricio and I were driving separately. So in sinking funds, the plan is the amount that we put in to the sinking fund and the remaining is actually the balance. And these numbers are accurate. I have double checked and I've connected all of my accounts. So they're auto loading now, which is lovely. So these are the amounts and you will notice that medical and Molina miscellaneous school expenses are zero and that's because we wiped out both of those sinking funds this morning this morning this month so i love sinking funds i don't know how i ever survived without them i really don't if you are considering doing sinking funds i'm telling you it's a game changer 
because stuff's going to come up and it's going to be unplanned and having that money there for those kind of situations is fantastic. This month we put $150 into our medical sinking fund. I'm going to go ahead and wait until the, I, I double check and make sure that my neck injections are going to be covered by the copay program um, with D-Sport. And if that is the case, I'm going to lower the sinking fund for medical from $150 down to $75, which will cover my annual copay, like what we pay at the beginning of the year, um, our deductible, because that's always $750 at the beginning of the year. But I don't need all this extra money in medical anymore. And I'll probably move the additional $75 over to Molina Summer Camp because we're still needing to get that up a little bit higher so we can pay for before and after care during, during the summer as well. This month we put $150 into medical, $100 into the car repair replace fund, $100 into the Christmas sinking fund. $100 into an emergency trip to Columbia sinking fund, $50 into miscellaneous school expenses for Molina. We put nothing into our emergency fund. We put $200 into summer camp and $1,000 to our trip in December to Columbia, which is no longer going to be in December. It's probably going to be in January. The plane tickets to go to Columbia at Christmas, just after Christmas, are $1,900 a person. Not even joking. And I'm not paying $1,900 a person. We can go. There's a five-day holiday at um, in January. And we can take a couple days off before and a couple days off after. And Melina can do the schoolwork with us while we're there. And those tickets are like $750-ish. So yeah, there's a big, big cost difference. So we probably will not be going at Christmas time. But I'm keeping an eye on the tickets. We're not committed to anything yet. Um, I thought I'd buy the tickets in like October when they're probably going to be either at their highest or the lowest. So I have been, because I'm a spreadsheet girl, I have been tracking the cost of tickets for like the last three months, the ups and the downs. About once a month, I put them into the spreadsheet. In our online category, we spent ten seventy eight for Nerdwax. I tried it. Don't get it. It's a waste of money. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's, it's like a, kind of like a chapstick tube and you rub it on the inside of your glasses and it's supposed to hold them like right here on your nose. It does not work, especially when you have a greasy face like mine. It just slides and then you get goopy stuff all over your nose. Not worth the money. Do not buy it. And then we spent $82.08 for shoes for Mauricio. The way it goes through shoes like nobody's business. I need to have a, just a Mauricio shoe budget line item. And in our cushion category, we spent money on food out. It's a thing. I like take out sometimes. So we spent $59.26 simply because Shake Shack started delivering. Have you had their mushroom hamburger? Oh my gosh. It is so amazing. It's just a big portobello mushroom filled with cheese and fried. I didn't say it was healthy, but it's delicious. And I'm not a big meat eater, so I will always order from them if I can get this burger. Oh my goodness. Seriously, we did it just simply because they started delivering through DoorDash. And I am a huge fan of DoorDash because they deliver all our favorite local restaurants now. Before, it was hard to get anything delivery in this area. But now with DoorDash, you can get almost anything. And then we did order sushi at the swimming pool one day for $76.85. And that was also through DoorDash. There's this super shishi sushi restaurant in Vienna, which I love. There's like, it's like true authentic sushi, um, not Americanized sushi. And it is so good. And I always get their, their vegetable sushi and they use funky vegetables that are just cool. And then we went to the Capitol with Molina's godparents who were in town to visit some friends. And so we took the day out. They came over for dinner one night and then we actually went 
and met them at the Capitol. They were going with their friends. And so this whole big group of us went and Melina loved it. I, she was hilarious. She put on the headphones and was wandering around and she was just fascinated. She has her father's love of politics, I guess, and history and all things like that, which I don't have. <laughs> so she was so cute. She loved the tour and and we really had a good time, but we did eat in the cafeteria there and it, the food was not good, it, but it was expensive. And so we paid fifty four sixty five for that lunch, just for me, Melina and Mauricio. And then the following weekend, we went to the Natural History Museum, just Mauricio, Melina and I, and we paid $16 to park there. We used our family fun money for the, the rest of it. It was super fun. Melina had a great time. We didn't stay very long, maybe like two and a half, three hours, but we enjoyed every little bit of it. And then Mauricio spent $12 eating lunch out with some coworkers. And $6.66 for breakfast one day because I guess he walked out the door without taking his bagel. So he went to the cafeteria at the office. And then the best and most amazing part was our debt payment. This month we put $8,035.37 to debt. You will see here that our Navy Federal Credit Union loan is paid off. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it right up here. It's like a true, true account. It's actually a horrible video, but um, it was my like genuine excitement about the whole thing. So I wasn't planning on recording it. I just kind of did. But you can see we ha paid off the last $5,739.21 on that. And so we have now paid off three debts. These balances here are accurate. I have finally linked all of our debt accounts into every dollar. So it's auto loading our balances. So the balance is the total balance for each account. The only one I can't auto load is the school loan because the school loan, although it's only one payment, it's broken up into like six different loans. It doesn't auto load as one and maybe I'll auto load it when we start to pay it off, I'll break it down into its six different loans, but maybe I won't. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but so the school loan is a hand tally. It's actually the total I tra hand transfer it in. The rest of them are exactly how much we owe. I have not added the TONTIA loans that we're gonna be paying off. I'm not gonna add those until we actually start paying on them, which will probably be, I'm guessing November is when those will kick in. You know, three down. Five of ours and two school loans from TU and Tia to go. So yeah, 350-ish bucks over. Not really excited about that, but you know, it is what it is. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.